have a look at editing this wall, taking it into the complex profile manager and edit it so that we can create some 3D documentation with it a bit later. So first of all I'm just going to select a segment of this wall and then I'm going to go up to the design, complex profiles, profile manager, but I want to capture the profile of the selection. As soon as you do that it will open up the profile manager and it will automatically bring that profile or the cross section into the editing window. At this point here we have the zero zero point. This is the reference line from which this wall is placed into our project and we want to move that so it's in line with the stud wall. So at the moment the reference line is on this particular point here. So the first thing we want to do is move everything. So I'm just going to say control all or Apple A, we're going to select everything. Then I'm going to select this node here which is the edge of the stud wall and drag it to the zero zero point. So now when we place the wall so now when we place the wall into our project the reference line will be at this point here. Now we're going to store this profile as 90 plus 75 push OK and just to test it I'm going to switch back to the plan view without closing the profile manager hit the wall tool choose our complex profile choose 90 by 75 and draw it and we can see there that the reference line is straight through the middle of the wall or what looks like through the middle of the wall which is actually the edge of our timber stud work which is exactly what we want. I'm just going to delete that now the next step is we're going to go back to the profile manager and now we're going to lower the insulation layer or the styrofoam cladding layer I want to make that go below the stud work so I want that 100mm lower I'm going to do the same to the external layer now I'm going to store the profile again and minimize this window then I'm going to pick this wall here that's the one where the section is going through and I'm just going to say apply this complex profile to this wall here and all I have to do is push apply to section that button there and now if I jump to the section you can see that the desired effect is exactly what we wanted the other thing we're going to do now is to keep editing this profile and we're going to prepare this profile or this complex profile for future use in a 3D document and to have a 3D document working in an intelligent way and show the information that we really want to show we would want to start specifying materials for each one of the layers of the wall so what I'm going to do is start with the render, so I'm going to pick it I'm going to click on one of the edges, pick this icon here and say that that is going to be render and it should be all the edges of that particular fill the same thing for the styrofoam it automatically goes back to the same icon I'm going to choose that as SF foam, styrofoam and next we have the timber stud or the frame I'm just going to choose wood as the material and apply to all ledges once again click OK I'm just going to check the styrofoam and make sure I had all edges no I didn't so now it's OK and the internal plaster that can be set to white once again all edges and push OK so this is our complex profile which is allowing us to overlap the slab with the insulation you could obviously do this up the top if you needed it as well we could add flashings or cuttings 
or eaves at a certain angle. We could actually drop down the top layers as well if we needed to. Uh, 